Hey guys, this is Dr. JTM Digital Medicine and a rheumatology resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM and if you are new here, first thing you need to do is go subscribe and next, this video is about how you are going to prepare for the next 20 to 25 days. Very crucial preparation for NEET PG 2024 because you need to have few strategies in order to tackle this two change in the patterns. Yes, what are these two change in the patterns? One is setwise change in pattern that is five sets, 40 questions uh, in each set and then 42 minutes for each set and the second change in the pattern is that two shifts and normalization where difficulty of the paper cannot be assessed with this change in the pattern you can't still be using the old strategies or the preparation methods that you have used one month back but why do you need a new preparation strategy see studying or preparing blindly is not an option now because with the change in the patterns we need to change our preparation methods and strategies otherwise those who adapt to the change in the pattern will go ahead and will do very great in the exam but those people who cannot adapt or who are in confusion and very much anxious about how i should tackle with this new change in the patterns how i have to prepare what should i read how i should practice mcqs with all these in their minds they will be definitely not seeing any growth in their marks at the same time when the final exam comes they will be really panicking and they'll get anxious in the exam and they'll do a lot of mistakes so for all of you guys who are in this particular situation i'm going to give you a preparation strategy now and do very very well in your final NEET PG 2024. So let's see what is this preparation strategy. The first thing is we'll be talking about is the pattern, the first pattern that is changed by the NBE that is nothing but the setwise exam. So whenever there is a setwise exam, he has told us the 200 MCQs uh, will be divided into five different sets. So I have divided this into five sets. In the each set, I have given certain set of subjects that you need to practice. I'll tell you how you can practice. But before that, let me tell you what are the subjects that I have included in each set. In the first set, I have included medicine, physiology, pharmacology, anesthesia. In the set two, general surgery, anatomy, orthopedics. Third set, I'll be taking another important subject that is gynec and obs, dermatology, pediatrics, microbiology. Set number four, so we'll be taking PSM, Psychiatry, Biochemistry, Ophthalmology. So in the set 5, we'll be taking Pathology, Forensic Medicine, ENT, Radiology. I have divided all the 19 subjects of you ever's into these 5 sets. But why did I divide is what I'm going to tell you next, which is very, very important. In the next 20 to 25 days that you have, you have to practice MCQs set-wise. So every day you have to practice 3 sets. So how are you going to practice this set-wise uh, practice? of MCQs. So in the morning, as soon as you wake up and you wanted to start your day by studying a subject, before you could do that, on the day one, you have to take set one in the morning. Second set, you have to do it after lunch. Third set, you have to do it after dinner, T minutes. But how can you do this 40 MCQs by mixing up the subjects that I have divided? You have custom modules in your respect to preparation app. First set will be having medicine, physiology, pharmacology, and anesthesia and create a 40 MCQ module set a 40 minutes timer just do that mcqs within that time in the morning in the second set after lunch third set after dinner day two starts with fourth set in the morning fifth set of 40 mcqs will be after lunch time first set again repeats after dinner this method of rotation from first set to fifth set should continue for the next 20 to 25 days of time you have what i suggest to you guys is that kindly divide the time into 20 plus seven days for the next 20 days whatever the pattern of preparation strategy that i am telling you now you have to do that for the seven days what you need to do is what i'll tell you so the next thing is that i'm going to tell you very importantly if you are studying for 10 hours you need to give five hours for theory and five hours for mcqs so if you are doing these three sets in a day that is like two hours of time and you still have three hours to just practice the subject that you have read and it is like a biggest boost for you in order to get that PG aspirant reflex so your practice will improve and your rights will improve your marks will also improve so this is also very important the next 20 days give equal time for both theory and also for MCQs in pattern 2 two shifts will be present so two shifts can be in the morning and in the afternoon or in the evening so you have to habituate to the time that is why for this shift purpose only I have let you do set one in the morning two in the afternoon and set three in the evening or night so you could get habituated to these shifts of one and two but the most important thing that we are looking into normalization the 
difficulty of the paper cannot be assessed by you or me or even the NBA. As you are doing set wise mini tests, set wise tests you are doing, choose custom module in such a way that the question should mix. These should be the two combinations in the 40 MCQs. Do not go for this particular combination that is tough less easy because when tough less easy questions are mixed, if only 10 easy questions and 30 tough questions are come and you will be getting very less marks and you will be disheartened, you will be of low confidence which is not good at all in this time of preparation. So do not use the combination of tough plus easy questions in your custom modules. Only use the combination of moderate plus tough and moderate plus easy which will give you a lot of confidence. It will be the best way for you to prepare for the next 20 to 25 days. Then what about the next 7 days that you need to prepare? And the major subject that you need to focus is that anatomy, pharmacology, pathology, PSM and then ops gynae you have to include. When it comes to minor, so dermatology, forensic medicine, psychiatry, anesthesia, next four important subjects. So these are the nine important subjects that you need to revise in the last seven days and you have to give total time for theory only while studying these nine subjects. Go for 80% of your time theory. Only 20% of the time you should give to MCQs that to only for the previous year questions, the previous year questions only. So this is how you, com you combine the changed patterns, pattern one and pattern two and prepare likewise. So you have to build that new strategy and new energy to give the final NEET PG 2024 exam. So this method will actually give you a lot of confidence in order to write the final 2024 exam no matter which timing you write, no matter how difficult the question paper is, follow this preparation strategy for you to get some good marks. So the second point is that do not panic at all or get anxious because when you plan effectively and organized way, you will be doing the exam very well. So that's why many people are in so confused state. I have uh, organized this into a proper strategy and presented it to you. So next thing is that daily in the morning when you wake up, tell yourself that I'm going to give my 100% today and I'm going to be productive no matter what. So when you try to keep pushing that positiveness into your mind daily, your subconscious mind eventually will believe that you are doing really great and will give you more and more energy to study for longer hours and practice MCQs for longer hours. You won't get saturated. You won't be frustrated. And next point, do not discuss anything with your friends be it whatever the no any notification comes or be it about the exam pattern exam level difficulty level level anything about anything do not discuss everything will increase anxiety or do not discuss about the result consequences also just prepare yourself and focus on your preparation so when you have that desire to win you know you will be adapting to any type of situation that is thrown at you you are more tougher than what you think. So what I say is keep working on yourself, keep adapting to the situations, keep building the new strategies. Automatically, the final win and success will follow you. So that's it for this video. Hope you have liked this strategy. If, if you have loved it, do share it with your friends. And what you need to do is like, share and subscribe to my channel, Dr. JTM. And I'll be back with one more beautiful video. Until then, bye. See you again.